We invite all listeners to tune in every Thursday at approximately 7.25 a.m. for Tutor Speaks, a program which deals with all issues affecting teachers, schools, and the education sector in general. So join us right here on I-95.5 every Thursday morning at 7.25. A uh, blessed Thursday morning to all I-95.5 listeners. This is the segment Tutor Speaks and I am your presenter, Patricia Eversley. I have the extreme pleasure this morning to welcome as my guest, the National Primary Schools Principals Association's Principal of the Year, Miss Charlene Ross Kwamina. Good morning, Miss Ross Kwamina, and welcome. Good morning, Miss Eversley, and thank you for inviting me. So congratulations, first off, from Tutor and myself. What has the experience been like? It's really exciting. It's really a wonderful experience, especially among other principals, my colleagues. This award, I see it as a recognition for all principals. It's really looking at our effort. And especially in my area in Lamentel, it's really interesting that we got recognized. I think that's what people in the community are saying. They are really excited about it, especially at my school, the team of teachers, the parents, all staff, especially students. They are really excited about it. Recently, Tutor got recognition for supervisors and other members. And there's been this idea that there's a, an adversarial sort of relationship between teachers and principals. What is it like to be a principal? And that's a very interesting question. Being a principal is really different in some regards as being a teacher. Being a teacher, I was involved in tutor at different levels, as in terms of the standing committees, the conference of delegates, study circles, staff rep, that's really involved in the St. George's, especially in sports as a flag bearer. Wonderful experience. And you're part of the team of teachers, and then you become principal. You have this responsibility of being in charge of the school. No one person could really have that level of responsibility. Working as a team, as we do at Russell RC, looking at the pooling of all our resources really helps. Not only in terms of staff, but in terms of the community, others coming in and supporting. And I'm really grateful for that aspect. Tutor has been one of the advocates for principals as well, and that is something that has been worked out with NAPSPA. But I do look at the collaboration, especially now with Tutor, as being something positive and a way forward, a strength with the National Principals Association to really move forward in education and really building that learning community so that we can really grow. The education system could really be improved. And we really see something that could be a force could be reckoned with. For you specifically, Rose Hill RC may tend to seem to be a difficult area. Could you identify one major plan that you have for the school and for the area? Yes. Um, the main thing with Russell, and everyone looks at it and says that's a hotspot area, and it is an area that has some challenges. Um, one of the areas that needs to be looked at is in terms of the mindset. That's the main avenue for change. And what we do is that we try to include programs while we're working with the students to work with the families at the same time. So that together, because what we want it to be sustained. So while we do things in school, they go out. It comes like the old adage where they, they drop their book bag at the gate and pick it up when they enter. We want it to continue. So therefore, what happens in school continues in the community. So our children will be agents of change. So we do that through the activities we have in school. We go into meditation. We go into clubs and different activities where we show children the practical the currency and value of what they are doing in the school environment. So it's not just abstract because when you just say take out your take out your pen um, look at the blackboard that is not really engaging students and the main thing is we want to engage them especially in their minds in looking at practical solutions to things so incorporating things like sewing and mechanics and practical things where they're interested you ask the students what are interested in and we did a needs assessment with them what do you want to see in this school and say well I want a practical thing I could fix here really nicely and things like that so children want to be involved in practical aspects and really involved in aspects where they could be entrepreneurs to help out their families avenues that we are looking at at Russell and getting that kind of support and it's not necessarily financially only it has to do with resources using resources in the community and out of the community outsourcing resources to help build that currency and value so the students see a need and their families see a need for education and really own it and want to be part of it so it's not only about graduation and about buying a fancy dress and wearing the biggest ring but it has to do with really changing your mindset in terms of seeing that this goes beyond this 
and I could be an agent of change. Our students say every day, I am an instrument, God's instrument of purpose, and really see themselves as being instruments of change. Thank you very much, Miss Ross Kwamina, for joining me this morning. I know we have just scratched the surface here with you and your commendable aims for the school. Thank you very much, Miss Aversley. It has been a pleasure being here, and I do wish you all the best for this season. I want to wish all my colleagues in Port of Spain environment and beyond, all my colleagues, principals and teachers, supervisors, everyone, a very wonderful Christmas season and all best wishes for the new year 2020. And let me just add my own wishes on behalf of the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association and from my house to yours, all the very best blessings for this joyous Christmas season and a bright, prosperous, healthy and safe 2020. You have been listening to Tutor Speaks. You can contact us at P-R-E-S-I-D-E-N-T at T-T-U-T-A dot org. That is the president at tutor dot org. Or telephone Tutor's head office at 645-2134, 645-3825 or 663-2738.